Alright everyone, I am at my neighborhood Dollar Tree that's just around the corner. I heard yesterday that they were setting up the back to school displays. I went in this morning and got a peek and I knew I was coming back to do a shop with me with you guys. So wait until you see some of the stuff that is coming out. I am like, wow. Okay, so come with me as I shop Dollar Tree. All right, fall florals are in full bloom. Look at this gorgeous eucalyptus. I think, is that what that is? Yeah, eucalyptus. I don't remember seeing these colors last year. And so look, they've got the cream, orange and red, the two-tone green, and this. That's just really pretty. These are the roses I was talking about. And apparently they've got purple here too. Some peach over here. These are new. I've never seen these. So those will be fun to add to a floral to add texture. Really nice ones. Let's go inside. Mm -hmm. All right, so now back to school is up. These are looking for the drinks. Check this out. These are the binder pouches. Now normally these have polka dots on them, so they redesigned them with stripes, which I love. There's pink. And looks like there's purple. And these do have the holes here to go into the binder. There also seems to be like a teal blue. And that's also purple. And it looks like there's yellow, a yellowish gold. And yeah, we got the pink also. So those are nice. You can also uh, get the binder clips and make something uh, fun, little toddler busy bags and things like that. We've seen these before, but I love seeing them back. The three colors, the orange, green, pink, and blue. Okay, this is nice. The harder you work, the better you get. Are there any other? This seems to all be the same. That's a nice notebook, post-it notes. Sheet protectors. This is kind of an iridescent binder pouch. This is a um, thin material, but that's really pretty. That's the yellow. Looks like there's... Pretty iridescence, and once again, the grommets or the binders. Very nice. Three pocket portfolio. Oh, a trifold. I don't think I've seen this before. Let's see. Oh, well, I like it. I have never seen that here, ever. And it's made with. Plastic. Let me check the color schemes. Oh, pink, green, yellow, and blue. So, sorry, you guys, I'm all over the place here. families. These are brand new, ages five to seven. Scholastic. That's not a Dollar Tree product. And because these are so new, it's hard to get them back in. Sorry guys, my filming. sheets for a dollar. I don't know how that compares to others. Look at this. That's a Dollar Tree product. The pages. Very nice. Behold. Ideas. 
guys. Ooh. I like how they're doing a contrasting cover with a side color. That's nice. Optimist. You know what's cool about the pandemic, Katie? We get to get rid of our masks so we can see our friends face to face. How are you, Ms. Monica? Good to see you. And there's the uh, pencil boxes. These are the new ones just for back to school. They have a little bit of glitter on the lid. I don't know if you can see that. These are these are good for all kinds of organizing. Makeup, not just school supplies. You can use those in the um, shed to categorize things. Little toys, things to keep in the car to organize the car. Crayola, super tips. Markers in the classic colors. And it looks like it's orange, yellow, green, purple, and red. Neon crayons, glitter crayons, metallic crayons, eight. I like to look at those as enhancements. These are the notebooks. 123 subject notebook. This cover is plastic glitter, so it's a little sturdier than just cardboard. You can see the, very nice, you can see the colors green, or the teal, the green, the pink, and the purple. Very nice. Looks like they have something for everyone. 36 sheets of construction paper. Okay. <laughs> Composition notebooks. These are always so fun. Manuscript tablet. Kids need to work on their penmanship. There's other composition notebooks. Cool, good vibes. These are the plastic covered composition notebooks. A little more sturdy. And then your classic black and white competition. Really nice. The 50 count index cards on the book ring for a dollar. Flashcards. All right. Socks fully stocked for back to school. Collared t shirts. These are like polo shirts. So let me. And their Gildan brand. These are unbelievable shirts. Okay, that's a 2X. That's going in my cart. Let's see if you can find some more. This is unbelievable. This is a ladies' polo. Call it what size is that? But they have pink, white, and that looks like a burgundy. And it looks like, I mean, I don't think they're finished with this display because that looks a little thrown together and they're much better about that. But at least they're in their sections. And here's some more white ones. Ladies, these are the adult Hanes t-shirts. You see that? Hanes t-shirts. 2X, 2X, large, medium. 2XL. All right. More t shirts in the bright colors the yellow, the blue. Look at this. That is nice. These are more t-shirts. These are just really great. And this is a good brand. This is a name brand. Look at the different colors. And it seems like they have all the sizes. Adult, small. Look at these. Cozy Comfort. Two pair of ladies. Gold toe boot socks. This is not a Dollar Tree product. So that is an amazing price. They also have some more of these. Odor control 
established 1934. These guys have been around for a while. See that price tag? Seven bucks. These look like they're men's socks, but who cares? That's what I say. I like that odor control. Not sure what they do about that, but very cute. Established 1934. Six to twelve and a half. This must be a man's. These are for her. Okay. George, that is a Walmart brand. Sizes four to ten with lycra. Fall's coming up, guys. The little black sock. This is, do you see this? $12 is the price. $14 for these boot socks. These are in Dollar Tree right now. Unbelievable. Some more gold toe. Some more. Fantastic. Some of these are really fun with the surfers on them. <coughs> Fashion socks. Pima cotton. Seven dollars. This is all back to school. Part of the back to school display. And then here these are Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom and Haynes t-shirts. Still working on this display. Against the back wall you have the um, the primary pencils, the large pencils. I already picked up some of those for my granddaughter. All the pens. Zebra. Very good brand. Dollar. It's a name brand alert. Oh. Sharpie Mystic Gems. What color is this? Special edition. Looks like some kind of a lavender color. But you can see that there's green, kind of a peachy pink, this lavender, blue, teal, and of course your standard black crayons. Play school. It's three old. When you have an addiction to office supplies, it might not be a good idea to go walk through <laughs> a display of office supplies. Yeah, look at these. These are the um, letter trays for an office. These are nice. They've got a little iridescent sheen to them. Very pretty colors. This is a peachy pink. Then you have like an aqua and then a grass or spring mm -hmm. green, lime green. They all have that little iridescent sheen, which is nice. Highlighter, highlighters. Westcott, name brand alert. I know you get two from Jot, but you know, Westcott has a, has a reputation <laughs> for, for being really good. I've used the Jot ones too, but oh, look at these. These are fun. That's a magnifier, if I'm not mistaken. To go Dollar Tree. All right, some more of those binder pouches, these planners. I think I showed you some of these the other day. I'm all about the planner. All right, and these are the um, storage containers that are connect. The lids are connected with the little latch. I actually bought one of these for my granddaughter this morning to store her new cars in. And I don't think I've ever seen this in this size storage container with a lid with two clasps. Really nice. We still have our crown jewels here, which I think is part of the back to school. But man, oh man, love it. Here's some more of those prayer boxes. This one has a different scripture on the inside. Blessed is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill her promises to her. Luke 1.45. These are just so nice. So nice. And there's a whole nother layer. You can find whatever it is you want in these. Very thoughtful. Pick up a few. 
All right, it looks like they have finished getting this display ready. So this is the facial wipes with the rose water aloe. I kind of went through this super fast the other day when I was reviewing my um, impromptu shop with my video. That's 30 watermelon sweet mint. It looks like they have the body oil for both fragrances. This is the pineapple aloe vera. The orange blossom lavender that actually smells really good and you get 32 wipes for those cucumber aloe the body oil is really nice over here yeah this is filled in quite a bit yep quite a bit so there's your body washes lavender jasmine pink cactus aloe these are shimmers you can see the little pearlescent so that's the uh, cool cucumber this is a lotion mist watermelon, refreshing aloe, tropical coconut, soothing almond milk, reviving eucalyptus, energizing pineapple, and calming lavender. That's body lotion mist. Really nice. Coconut rose water, vanilla honey body wash. Here's some hand sanitizers and the body yogurts. I'm curious, I should get one just because. I've kind of tried to not buy products just because. And here's the, your, your bath bombs, which my granddaughter loves. Can I get back up on register, please? Mm -hmm. Coconut sea salt, sweet orange vanilla, but that's nice. wonder if it smells like a creamsicle drinks and snacks fully loaded across from the bath the bath products Let's see all right and then here are the facial masks ginseng jasmine green tea lavender rose water peptides bubble clay mask those bubble masks are hilarious jojoba aloe honey vitamin c cucumber coconut water charcoal tea tree avocado egg whites and then the Freeman masks. How they can sell these things for a buck, I don't know. Fully stocked. And this is the other side that I thoroughly went over in my impromptu shop with me. The hair masks, the conditioners, and the different facial. I'm not going to go, because I kind of did an in-depth thing the other day. The other ones I didn't. Um, spend as much time on. Looks like all the tropical Hawaiian luau stuff has been condensed into an end cap, which is good because some people are still wanting those things. It's nice to know they're still here. If you need them, grab them quick. They'll be gone soon. These are the two packs that I looked at. I showed you this one. This one was underneath and I didn't spend time in my impromptu because I wasn't prepared for it, but Two for a dollar. I love the notebooks here. I looked at some of these the other day. Let's see if there's any other styles besides these two, which are really cute. Oh, there is. Look at that. That is adorable. So you basically have three of these two notebooks for a dollar, which I I love. I think that's a good deal. It's a great way to stock up. Wait, what's this over here? Hello Summer. That's more of the Hello Summer ones. So they have three different styles of those. And then these, I kind of went over the notebooks last when I did my impromptu. They just always have new notebooks. Always. You never know what you're going to find. I noticed some Sesame Street board books I didn't notice before. Abby's first book of rhymes, Oscar's first book of manners, Elmo's first book of animals, and then Bedtime on Sesame Street. These are really cute, and in actuality... Binden, this brand, I just saw in a, a school kit put together for preschoolers by Binden that had so many things in teaching a child um, the beginnings of what they need to know. And so it's neat to see that they're still coming out with um, more books. My, my granddaughter loves stories, and I have my other channel, Storytime with Gigi, where I read these books. And I love them. I think I have this one, Zoe's book, first book of seasons. But those were new books to me. So I think you can find them at your store.
always enjoy coming through here because as a kid, coloring was one of my favorite things to do. I still get that little six-year-old rise up inside me with excitement when I see new color books. Got any Peppa fans? These are really cute. This, is, this would be good for little ones. Kittens in the cafe. What's this about? Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Still haven't found the elusive peanuts color book, but I'm looking. On the other side of the aisle, the paints are fully stocked. Now it would be cute to get a set of these paints together, and it seems like they have. This is the Crayola kids paint. It's washable. This is also Crayola washable paint. They've got enough of each color, you could really put together a really nice paint set for a child with paint brushes. They're washable, so there wouldn't be anything to worry about. So we have purple, yellow, blue. We have kind of, I guess, a peach color that would be a nice uh, skin tone, as with this, along with hair color. Um, there's red, yellow, green, even black white putting together a set of paints for a child I think is so great helping them to express the creativity purple I love it I absolutely love it and then here's some paint brushes some other paint brushes if you have a budding artist if you have a budding artist and then right down here look what's that canvases Get them some paints, some canvases, some brushes, and really express your um, your support of what it is they love to do. This is a larger, oh, this is acrylics. That might not be good for a little one. But if you like to paint, there you go. Prang is a tempera paint. I believe tempera paints are water-based. That's washable from skin and most clothing. So that's if you need larger quantities it's good to know they have these here and they seem to have a lot of color availability and then there's is this jot this is another tempera paint poster sign school craft projects dries to a matte finish and it's blendable this is peach <coughs> and there seems to be white and blue and there's acrylics mixed in so make sure you're checking because acrylics do not wash easily non-toxic and they are water soluble but y'all know all right and then you also have these wood crafts great projects for kids nice still thinks seems to me they've gotten some more shapes out I could be mistaken but there seems to be more shapes of animals that have been added getting more of the same books. I have these. I've, I've got these at home. They're so cute. So ready to read. Level 2. So check the back to, so you can see what grade level, what reading level they're for. But there's your... This is so my favorite aisle. Crafts on one side, books on the other. School supplies down at the other end. The end cap for this aisle has more workbooks and more of these learning mats, different things like that, and the crayons, and more of the Prang paint up here. Coming down. These are good for adding, um, not just for games. So that's a good educational thing you can add to your, it's fun. 
and it also helps you if you lose the dice at your games. These are, um, of course, the craft sets, and then on the other side of the aisle are the toys. So let's look over here. I've seen these in other places, have not seen them here, so they finally arrived here, which is good to see. Okay. Spirographs. These were such a big hit when I was a kid. But it's nice that they have something on a smaller scale you can do in the car. These are the blind bags, mega construction. Well, there's lots of small parts, but this is a great deal for a dollar. Normally these things run anywhere from $2.50 up to $5. The blind bags, I mean. I don't know what those run for, but a good product. Balls. The characters. It seems like everything's kind of the way it's been. So, Alright, I've decided I'm going to pick up these, some of these for my granddaughter's birthday. I'm looking for balloon tape, which I haven't seen here, so I'm going to start hunting around for it because I want to do a balloon arch. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Alright guys, I've gone through and I'm basically seeing the same things I've been seeing, but I really wanted to do a shop with me on all that new back to school stuff that's happening. So get to your Dollar Trees. If your Dollar Tree doesn't have it up, it will this week because they all have the same schedule. They don't, they get different things, but I wanted to show you the back to school stuff is out and me with a, with a back to, with a, um, uh, a school supply or office supply addiction, of course, I'm, I'm over the moon excited about back to school displays. So be on the lookout. Thanks for spending a little time with me today. And I'm just feeling super awkward. All right, make sure you like and subscribe. Bye until next time.